Good evening and welcome to Svea's Tips and Tricks. Along the way we have learned a lot of things and we have uh, gathered some here. First out is um, Pia and Michael on their beautiful boat Gry, uh, Halberasi 342. And the topic is Anchor. This is probably the most common topic except for insurances. Anchorage and anchors is a hot topic among uh, sailors. So uh, what's your point of view on anchors? Okay, now we have no great experience, uh, but we have had uh, an old classic ruse before that we were dragging with. So uh, for the, our previous boats, we made a research <clears throat> and we came to the conclusion there were two anchors that were regarded uh, the top uh, notch in anchoring. It was Spade and from US and uh, Rockna from New Zealand, I think. So we uh, decided on a Spade. <laughs> and then we uh, tried it out ourselves. Do you remember that? Um... I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> we compared the two different... Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> On the beach guess, at home, yeah. on land, with your red uh, motor car. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have a spade made in US. A, a, a spade, a plugankare with a blade tip. So we have lagt fram and back. And so let's see here if Pia Johansson can drive a little here. So let's see if we have time to get here. So let's see if we have time to get Här har vi brusankarets släpning. Ja, det var ju bra. Thank you Spade. I can't see you. Did you test it before you bought it or you just bought it and then tested it? Some YouTube uh, watching uh, hours before buying it, <laughs> of course. But um, ah, we wanted to sleep uh, well on board. It's uh, hard to feel unsafe, unsafe uh, in an anchorage. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the weight of the anchor? 15 kilos. <laughs> yes, so according to the recommendations, we are on, on the border to get a bigger one, but we all feel so safe and we have... It's good when we are out sailing in warm waters, you can always dive down and see how quick it digs in. So now we have checked, it digs in less than a meter, it's, you can't see the anchor. Not at all. We've, we've been on anchor uh, in Cascais in uh, near Gale uh, for five days, uh, not moving at all. So we feel But then safe. we were tangled into another uh, anchor. So, so. Uh, that's another problem. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the way to get a good hold. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Gry. Next out is the Oracle Stefan Jansson on Njord. Uh, Bruce Roberts, 44. And when we uh, asked him to show a boat hack, he uh, chose to show us how to handle a hose. Stefan going to show us a little life hack, how you do... How the... to coil a, a water hose, and this is applicable to any rope or anything. And I'm going to show you the end. This is, this is what you want to be able to do afterwards when you're done. You want to be able to just put your hose down and just... <laughs> Yes, of course, of course. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. So, so the, the thing is how to do this successfully is that you start with a, a, a hose that is 
it's not wound up. It's, it's just it's very straight, and you you just take the first one in the normal order like this, and the next one you allow it to go behind. You will have the uh, behind the first hose. So it's going to look it's going to look like it's not correct, but it is. And the next one is in front, and the next one is behind. Hmm. So you just do it like this, and you're coiling it. Without twining it, whatever it's called in English, at the same time. Hmm. Just as fast as coiling it the, the standard way. Mm. That was a very good life hack. From our friends on Lens, the Winter family from Norway, we got some useful tips on how to use things in more than one way. Just uh, tested, uh, tested the bilge pumps and just to avoid the water getting in all compartments, we have just uh, put a carrot inside here and it's Zero water, not even one drop on the other side of this bucket. So it's uh, working very good. I've uh, seen this on a YouTube video with some British magazine that was using vegetables for plugging uh, uh, through holes which had been broken and it was working fabulous with carrots and potatoes. And now we have tested it's working very good. Thank you. That looked a lot more easy than using these uh, kind of compulsory tree plugs that uh, we and everyone else has on board. The next uh, tip comes from me. It's probably the most important one and that's how to get in and out of the dinghy from the water. Thank you, Mir. That was great. What's your best uh, tricks? Please send it to us and we can try to visualize it. You will of course get all the credits. If you like this, please share it among your friends. And uh, click like and subscribe as usual. I'm <laughs> <laughs>